This is an exercise on an induction motor. This is a three phase, 460 volts, 60 horsepower, 60 hertz, 6 pole Y connecting induction motor. It has the following impedances in ohms per phase and referred to the stator side R1, X1, R2 prime, X2 prime, and XM. At what speed? asks part A of the question in RPM, we have maximum torque. And also, what is that maximum torque in Newton meters? The second part is, what is the starting torque of this motor? Let's begin. As there are no losses explicitly given for this exercise, we will neglect them. That means that the output torque is the induced torque and the induced torque is directly proportional to the gap power. So whatever power is dissipated in this resistor times three, that is the gap power. We want maximum power because we need maximum torque and that means making sure that this resistor absorbs the maximum power from the rest of the circuit. What do we do? We find the Thevenin equivalent of all these parts of the circuit. Like so, Thevenin equivalent, V7, R7, X7, as seen by the gap power resistor R2 prime over S. For maximum gap power, this resistance has to be equal, as we saw in circuits 2, to the magnitude of this impedance. Well, but if that is so, that means that S has to be R2 prime divided by the absolute value of that impedance. Let's find that V7N. V7N is just the voltage here, this voltage in this circuit with nothing connected to the right, of course. That is a voltage divider, 460 over root 3, that multiplies this impedance divided by the sum of all the impedance in that loop. Absolute value, 254.6 volts only the absolute value. Now let's find the Thevenin impedance. That is seen from this resistor's point of view. The Thevenin impedance is Jx2 prime in series with the parallel of this impedance and this impedance on this branch. In other words, is this? That is correct. Using your calculator, with the values given in this table up here, we determine the seven and impedance to have this value 0.5834 plus J1.5363. Now, for maximum torque, we need that R2 prime over S is equal to the absolute value of the seven and impedance. From there, we determine the S max, which is 0 0.1990. That is 20%. That is the slip for maximum torque. For that one, we need to compute what is the gap power. What is the power in this resistor? And then multiply that times 3 to obtain then the torque, the maximum torque. Well, to do that, one way is to compute this current. And that current is V7 divided by the total impedance. But the magnitude is just V7 divided by the magnitude of this impedance as seen here, R7 in series with R2 prime over S max, which is this one. Mm -hmm. And then we take the absolute value, square the real part of that impedance, square the imaginary part, say square root, and that current is 94.1 amps. That is this current here. We square that current, multiply that times this resistance with S equal S max, Multiply the whole thing times 3, and bingo, we have the gap power for maximum torque, which is 43.7 kilowatts. To find that torque, we just divide that gap power by omega naught. Omega naught, hmm, who is omega naught? 2 pi f, the frequency is 60 hertz, divided by the number of parallel poles. We have 6 poles, p is 3. That tells us that the maximum torque is 347 Newton meters. 
the velocity at that slip, at that maximum torque, is 1 minus s times the synchronous velocity, which is 3600 divided by p in this case. That is 961 RPM. And that takes care of part A of this exercise. For part B, we need to compute the starting torque of the machine. At that point, the slip is 1, and the equivalent circuit seen by the gap power resistor is just start to prime. We do the same. We compute the current R to prime, V7 and divided by that impedance. We determine the absolute value of 143 amps. And with that, we compute what is the gap power. 3 times R2 prime times I2 prime square. We use this value here, and we compute the gap power at starting point being roughly 20 kilowatts. With that gap power, we compute the torque at starting point, dividing by omega naught. 159 newton meters. Thank you very much.